Have you seen the John Oliver video? Yes. The John Oliver video was unironically so based. I know that internet lefties are going to get mad about it because he didn't like praise Mao or whatever. But um, I watched it today because I was worried about how good it would be. Because again, like there is a lot of incentive in Western media to really toe the line with Israel stuff, you know. And John Oliver hasn't been perfect in the past. There are stuff, there are issues that I think he's he's kind of backed off on. Uh, he didn't hear. Four million views in a single day, 32 minutes long, so it's a longer episode. And it's like, it's based as hell. Calls for a ceasefire, calls out Netanyahu for supporting Hamas and using them as a political wedge to gain power. Essentially just calls Israel fascist. Um, like, massive sympathy to Palestinian people. Like, seriously, like, the, the whole thing is based as hell. The only thing he does that isn't, like, exactly what every lefty online is pushing for is he didn't, like, I don't know, praise Hamas or whatever. Like, whatever stupid optical sword people online think they have to fall on to make this point or whatever he doesn't do that but like it, it, he says like every good thing you know like consistently um yeah it was really good it was really good you know you need you need stuff like this man um this is this is how you reach the mainstream this is one of the reasons why like i it, much in the same way that bernie sanders had a broad appeal and he uh brought a ton of people into the left movement like he is doing the same and i know that there's not a lot of social capital in saying it but there are a lot of people in the online left and the left broadly today uh, that got their start with John Oliver because he's been doing this for years and he's been a good entry point for a lot of people into more like radical left-leaning perspectives. Um, so like it's it's so, 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 so good. It's so, so good. Just like John Stewart. Yeah, just like John Stewart. Yeah, like people have no trouble praising John Stewart for all the work he did to like legitimize left-leaning perspectives through his like like using his comedy as a vehicle. And the thing is, John Oliver's better at it, like massively so. You can say like, well, he's no replacement for John Stewart, and I agree. But if we're purely talking about like the density and quality of left-leaning political talking points, John Oliver is infinitely better than John Stewart. Not a question of quality or like their personhood or whatever. It's just it's been like 20 years since John Stewart was at his heyday, right? Like things have changed and John Oliver literally like he doesn't even do like bit by bit comedy points or whatever. Like every week he just focuses on like a political topic, you know? Um it's so 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 good. Um and, and it has to be recognized as such. People say that he's cringe and he is. <laughs> I mean, he says he is. Um you know, the people people say like uh oh, well he's Libby. I just I honestly think he says as much as you can get away with while still being a mainstream voice in the media while still being like a late night talk show host. Genuinely, I don't know if there's, like I don't know what you would have to do to take a step past this. Like, like yeah, seriously, it's not, this isn't just like he's a progressive, he's significantly more progressive than the vast majority of Americans. Um, And we don't really, we don't really know how much he's toning down his power level too. Like, it, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to say. We don't know how much Bernie is, right? I mean, we, we know he was like the protest, the stuff that he said over his life. I don't know if John Oliver, my guess is that John Oliver is like a very authentically left-leaning person who has a very good team of authentically left-leaning people that have very intelligently worked with their legal team to be as much an advocate as they can without tripping any flags that get them run through like the media denunciation circuit because you want to be at least somewhat careful because if you start doing like optically damaging stuff you can end up in a corbin position where most of what you say is completely correct but then you get like trashed and tarnished by the media anyway you don't want to make it easy to tarnish you right bernie sanders got a lot done in large part because he's like a really approachable friendly person and he says stuff very like in a very measured way so as a consequence of that, you know, he didn't make it easy for people to attack him. People did still attack him. Not saying they didn't, you know, but he could have made it easier for them. And it was because he had the time to work on his message without it being just outright deplatformed that he was able to like, you know, basically kickstart the modern left progressive movement in America today. So I don't know. It's crazy because like John Oliver is only getting started. I don't know how long his show is going to be popular. Like I, I, I can't. I can't see the future, um, but 
dude's like was 50 55 you know like I, I something in that ballpark like he's got a lot of time to to do good work stuff like this just makes me feel really really hopeful because it goes beyond just oh it's a good show bro he's been at it for a long time yeah i know that he is very good at edging that yeah did he call it a genocide um, he didn't use the term genocide. He used the term war crimes to describe what the IDF was doing, called Gaza an open-air prison camp, that kind of stuff. Uh, he didn't use the term genocide. He didn't talk about the Nakba. There were things that I feel like he would have touched on, but didn't. But but like he felt like he had to get away with it, basically. Like he 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 doesn't want to like trip a flag. So in that, like, obviously, there are so many chains on him that we can't even see. This is one of the reasons why I'm a lot more sympathetic to people like, I don't know, AOC or Bernie than a lot of other lefties are. Because when you're in those positions, or when you're like a big late night talk show host like, like John Oliver is, there are so many invisible chains, so many people, so many phone calls, so many veiled threats, so many accusations that you never see as a member of the audience. And... Every day that shit builds up, and you know John Oliver gets threats. I mean, he constantly goes after people in power. Like, you know for a fact he does. You know, we're going to take your network down, we're going to have a convo with this guy, this and that, this is like, uh, you know, um, defamatory, whatever else. And he persists through it, I think, because he's smart. He makes jokes about how many, like, legal concessions he has to make um, to, to keep the show running as it does. So, I, you know, we stand a thoughtful king, right? People think that there's glory in like just going out there and saying whatever you want. But personally, I don't think there's much value and therefore much glory in like being a dumbass and being correct, but being so optically ineffective that you just get dogpiled and do nothing. Like there's just no worth to being right on its own in a situation where you're trying to change the world because the world really doesn't care whether you're right or wrong. It cares whether you can sell that to people. And he can. So, you know. I think it's good. I think it's cool. The uh, the, the the Bob Murray suit. Yeah, yeah, that the the Cole CEO. Yeah, yeah. Um the slap suit. Did a whole episode on that too. Yeah, I don't know much about the John Stewart stuff. I, I I didn't watch his bit. Um I really should, you know. 